Okay, here's the diagram on how to make my waste oil burners. You have a vessel, any size, any way you want it. It's a six inch pipe on top, welded in with a hole, obviously, for an exhaust. And then I run, I put an eight inch. Uh, steel exhaust tube out of the building over that you don't have to worry about sealing this off because it draws air when it goes up Okay, so um, you cut a hole in the bottom Okay, bottom of the tank You're gonna cut a hole And your burn bowl which I showed you is which is the bottom of a freon tank will actually go in the bottom of this and the hole needs to be about a quarter inch bigger than uh, the burn bowl just so you can get in there. So here's your burn bowl There's a hole in the bottom of the tank The tank's going to be about eight inches off the ground roughly Because you need to be able to slide the bowl in and then raise it up in the hole and then put a block Under it To hold it up in there it needs to be about a quarter inch to a half inch up inside of the tank uh, the air actually flows around this and draws up out so you don't have any leakage okay now you're gonna have a two inch pipe that goes out of the wall out of the side I like the 45 it off right here so that it drips early I like to use my whole bowl. All right, so this is a two inch pipe. This is where the oil goes. You're gonna put an outlet right in here. You run it out to your tanks. And you're gonna have a valve right here to control the oil going down. So your oil drips down this tube. Now, the old way, I'd put a fan on top of this right here which is fine but the new way I've been cutting in a pipe like this making a weld here making a weld here making a weld here and this is where my turbo air comes in so I put my fan right here on this one now the reason why I do that is this oil is dripping down when it gets here it kind of sprays it up a little bit and mist it a little bit because of this airflow because the oil drips right in front of this hole and then it just gives you a little bit better burn when it gets to the bowl um, now this this unit right here that's it that's all there is to it boom two holes pipe two pipes now you, it'll burn like this without a fan okay because it'll draw air like a rocket stove right here and it'll 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 heat up fairly good but what happens is on top of the oil is the only place that it burns it doesn't and if it's it's not burning enough off to get rid of the oil then eventually the oil builds up and overflows out of the top with the tank out of the bowl and then you have a big mess on the on the bottom here on the floor so if you're gonna use no fan you got to be really careful not to put too much oil in here it's it's easier just to use the fan. I've got a little fan, bathroom exhaust fan that's perfect. It doesn't draw a lot of amps. It's fine. And it makes this burn real nice and clean. Um, now this, usually what I'll do is I'll get a water heater, uh, a uh, high efficiency water heater I'll get from the plumber. He pulls a lot of them out from, and he scraps them. And I'll just get them to him, give him about $35 for them. And it has a fan on top of it because it's a high efficiency fan. So you get the hot water heater and you get the fan for $45. <coughs> and you put the fan right here. Now if you use this fan up here, it's it's a, probably a lot more than you need. So you have to put a valve right here and throttle that down. And get it, you know, get it to where you want it. <coughs> so hopefully that shows you what's going on it's just the pipe going in the side of the vessel down into the tank um, and 
you know, you, you want to have this pipe down here about an oh, inch and a half. It doesn't really matter as long as the oil is dripping in there, but either like a half inch down or inch and a half into the bowl, it's not going to hurt anything. You don't want to stick it down too far, though, because it'll get in the way of sliding the bowl in. So, you know, you got to, the more this sticks down, the higher your unit has to be, but you don't really need it to stick down. It can actually be flush right there. So, and you just slide the bowl in. Now to clean this, all you gotta do is drop your bowl, dump it over, clean out the junk, put it back in, and that's it. That's that's your cleanup. So, hopefully that gets you guys a diagram of what to do. Good luck on building.